Hello, everyone. This is the Village Around Lake Beach Council meeting. Uh, date of February 22nd, 2021 at 7 p.m. Uh, have the clerk call the roll. Trustee Cleveland? Here. Trustee Davis? Here. Trustee Husk? Trustee Ibarra? Here. Trustee Stout? Here. Trustee Valdez? Here. Mayor Nichols? Here. All right, uh, roll's called. Can we do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. United States of America. Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Nation, under God, indivisible, with yes. liberty and justice for all. All righty. Um, any questions or changes to tonight's agenda? Hearing no, can I have a motion, please? So moved by Trustee Cleveland. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second by Trustee Stout. Second by Trustee Stout. Can we have the clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Husk? Oh, he's not here. Trustee Ibarra? Yes. Did she Aye. answer? Okay. Aye. Trustee, Aye. Trustee, Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. All right, so the ayes have it. Um, can we go on to the approval of the council meeting minutes from 118 of 2021? Motion by Trustee Davis. Motion by Trustee Davis. Second. Second by Trustee Abrera. Can I have the clerk call the roll? Trustee Husk. I don't know why I keep saying that, sorry. <laughs> Trustee Abrera. Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, the ayes have those well. Moving on to our expenditures, $914,432.90. Um, Matt? Uh, yes, uh, all three normal checks this month. There were three checks in excess, in excess of $100,000. All of this is normal. The one that is quarterly is still tax. All righty. Um, can I get the approval for the expenditures, please? So moved. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second? Second by Trustee Stout. Second by Trustee Stout. Uh, can I have a roll call, please? Vote. Trustee Abara? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well on the expenditures. Ratifications, we have none tonight. Do we have any standing committee reports? All right, hearing none, we'll go on to the mayor's report. Um, I'd like to announce the, uh, after talking with all of the trustees, we have an appointment available for the Planning and Zoning Commission, and we'd like to uh, move forward with the appointment of Nancy Radford. Uh, can I have a motion, please? Motion. Uh, second, second, sorry. Motion by Trustee Abera, second by Trustee Cleveland. Uh, can we have a roll call, please? Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee mm -hmm. Davis. Aye. Trustee Ibarra. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. 
All right, the, the ayes have that. And I believe, I think Nancy was on the... Thank you for uh, for joining in, Nancy. We wanna welcome you to the planning and zoning. We know you'll be a great addition. And uh, we hope this is over soon so we can have you, uh, have you in the house too. We'll get you sworn in later this week, Dave. Thank you, Nancy. All right. Um, clerk's report. Do we have a clerk's report tonight? No, we don't. All right. Items of business. Um, item A, um, resolution for construction on State Highway. Can I have a, um, Director Hilt speak on this? Yes. Um, can you, everyone hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mayor and the board. Um, this item was discussed at committee. It's a, uh, it happens every two to three years as a resolution for construction on state highways, which is Route 83 that um, runs through the village. This allows the village to perform emergency work such as water main breaks or sewer repairs um, uh, without having to file a permit to delay the process. So, um, Again, it uh, just needs a action by the board so we can go ahead and um, submit the resolution to the state to acquire another two-year permit. All right. Get a permit. Can I have a motion and a second, please? Motion by Trustee Davis. Motion by Trustee Davis. Second by Trustee Valadez. Second by Trustee Valadez. Can we have the clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Ibarra? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Um, going on to council uh, item business B, off, uh, Director Hiltz as well. Resolution authorizing and approving an awarded contract to Waterwell Solutions and an amount not to exceed $30,000. Yes, thank you again. This item is um, was discussed at committee as well. Um, well three is one of our backup wells that we utilize when our CLC Jawa water service is interrupted. Um, we have, uh, this is one of the last ones to be re, um, rebuilt. We received two proposals and um, water well solutions was the lowest for mobilization and um, their rates are the lowest. So we won't know the total expenditure until it, it is removed and inspected. So we are authorizing the 30,000, which was budgeted for this fiscal year. All right. So for awarding the contract to Waterwell Solutions an amount not to exceed $30,000, can I have a motion and a second, please? So moved by Trustee. Motion by Trustee Valadez. Motion by Trustee Cleveland, a second by Trustee Valadez. Um, can I have the roll, please? Trustee Valadez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Ibarra? Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. So item C, um, ordinance approving a plot of ded uh, dedication relative to the extension of Hook Drive. Yes, so I'll, I'll also take this item, Mayor. This item is part of our capital improvement projects. It's um, Hook extension is part of our capital improvement plan and uh, part of phase two engineering. IDOT requires the property that um, that the village has acquired over time to be dedicated right away to receive any future fun, uh, federal funding to build the extension. So this, this authorizes the mayor and the clerk to sign the plat of survey after legal review um, with this resolution and then it will be filed um, through the county. All right. Um, can I have a motion and a second of moving this? Um, the approving of plot of dedication relatively to uh, extension of Hook Drive. 
moved by Trustee Sow. So moved by Trustee Sow. Second by Trustee Cleveland. A second by Trustee Cleveland. Clerk, can we have the roll, please? Trustee Cleveland. Aye. Trustee Davis. Aye. Trustee Ibarra. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. Trustee Valdez. Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Uh, we'll move on to item D, business item D. Uh, Director Cobain, you're talking about the compensation package for Deputy, Deputy Chiefs of Police. Yes, due to the fact that Deputy Chief of I could then have a motion and a second uh, for the compensation package for the deputy chiefs of police. Motion. Motion by Trustee Abera. Second by Trustee Davis. Second, second by Trustee Davis. Uh, uh, can I get a, a clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Davis. Aye. Trustee Abara. Aye. Trustee Stout. Aye. Trustee Valdez. Aye. Trustee Cleveland. Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. We'll be moving on to council business item E, um, an ordinance repealing and replacing section 311 through 31-17 of the village code regarding business certificates. Um, Director Heinen. Thank you, Mayor. Um, this was at committee uh, the past couple months. Uh, in terms of some CD programs that we took a look at to uh, revamp some of the workflow uh, as well as um, you know some of some of the need to to alter these programs to make a little bit better efficiency out of out of the program. So the first one is is the business licensing. Uh, originally, we were doing uh, annual inspections on these properties um, that the village would do. Uh, comes to, uh, we looked at other communities. Uh, a lot of those don't actually perform um, annual inspections. Uh, the fire department does um, do their initial inspections um, at least once a year. Um, so there's really no reason for the village to get involved uh, in terms of annually inspecting those as well. So uh, the ordinance before you tonight is, is really removing that inspection aspect of the business licensing. Um, this, uh, this item is actually uh, coming up here uh, probably in the next week uh, to start the, the, the new business licensing program. So uh, once approved, we'll get everything set in place and start in, in, uh, enforcing the procedures as we move forward. All right. Um, can I have a uh, motion and a second on this, please? Motion by Trustee Cleveland. All right. Must, the motion by Trustee Cleveland. Second by Trustee Stout. Uh, clerk, can we call the roll? Trustee Ibarra? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Um, business item F. Ordinance repealing and replacing section 8119 of the village code regarding foreclosed building and property registry. 
Um, I'll take that one again. Um, this was another one of the programs uh, that we took a look at in terms of property registry. Uh, right now, the village enlists uh, the assistance of ProChamps to conduct and maintain the records for uh, the property registries, which includes foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, as well as vacant properties. Uh, when, we, when we really dove into this, there was some potential issues regarding um, pre-foreclosures and vacant homes and whether or not the village should really be going in to, to enforce these as for a property registry. Um, really, it, it's really the bank owned properties uh, that need to be registered with the village. Um, and once we get that information, uh, we can start compiling that data and using it in a more meaningful way uh, at the end. So the ordinance before you is, is really making the elimination of, of having the properties that are in pre foreclosure or vacant properties um, eliminated from the ordinance uh, and really focusing on the foreclosures. All righty. And that's going to be removing the Dave, removing pro champs as well. Oh, that'll that'll be separate. I believe we have to give them a thirty day um, notice. Uh, so once it's approved, uh, we'll start that process of notifying them. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Clerk, can we have? The, oh, I'm sorry. Can I have a motion and a second, please, on this? Placing section 8119 of the village code regarding foreclosed building and property registry. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. And I have a second. Second by second Trustee. By Trustee. Thank you, Sylvia. Just right before you. Um, Clerk, can we have the roll call? Trustee Ibarra? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Moving on to uh, item G. Um, Ordinance repealing and replacing section 9118 of the village code regarding certain regulations. Boy, 8119, 9118, <laughs> very similar. Um, Chris, talk about that one. Uh, yeah, so so this is uh, the section of the municipal code that has to deal with the rentals uh, as well as occupancy permits. Um, so as we mentioned in the past, the, the rental certification program is, is really morphed into a, a large program. Uh, that encompasses a majority of the village village's staff's time. Uh, not to mention that we we hired on the fire district to come in and and um, do a lot of these inspections um, of approximately over 1,400 rental properties last year. Um, so what we're what we're proposing is is more of a, a, a timed out um, rental certification program. Uh, so we'll be looking at implementing either a three or four year time period uh, for when these rentals actually go through and do uh, their inspections. Um, this will reduce um, the need for the fire district. Um, we will still use them on doing the inspections, uh, but we won't need them as, as much as as much as often as possible on, on at least the annual basis. It also frees up our code coordinators time to, to start implementing some of the other changes that we're working on uh, downstairs in the building department. Uh, so that's that's kind of where we're going with, with the rental program. It's still a great program. I think they still need to be registered. I just don't think we need we need to have them on an, on an annual basis. Uh, in terms of occupancy permits, um, again, um, one of the main drives for this was um, a lot of the a lot of the real estate agents were we're having troubles uh, getting closings on time uh, due to an inspection that the village um, would perform uh, after the after the deals uh, have been negotiated between a buyer and seller. So uh, the village is still going to issue occupancy permits. Uh, we're mainly going to be doing a match and seal on the on the water, uh, as well as doing a, a current kind of a courtesy drive by for any exterior uh, changes that may or exterior. Um, um, changes that may need to be done on the property. So uh, we'll still issue the occupancy permits. It's just gonna be scaled back um, quite a bit from, from actually doing the inspections um, on the village's end. 
All right. Um, on replacing section 9118 of the village code regarding certain regulations, can I have a motion and a second, please? Motion by Trustee Davis. So moved by Trustee South, second by Trustee Davis. All in favor? Uh, motion, please. Clerk, can we have a roll call, please? Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee <laughs> Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Avera? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Uh, business item H. Uh, repealing and replacing section 8-7-6 of the village code regarding building inspections. Um, so this ties back to the occupancy permits. There was actually a section in the property maintenance code. It was kind of an outlier of um, occupancy permits and how they were handled. Uh, since it's really encompassed in the other section, we're, we're just um, going to remove this section of the property maintenance code uh, to kind of bring everything back into one spot for occupancy permits. All righty. Um, can we have a motion and a second on repealing uh, and replacing the 876 of the village code? Can I have a motion and a second? So moved by Trustee Cleveland. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Second. Second by Trustee Davis. Second. second by Trustee Davis. Thank you very much. All right, um, Clerk, can we have the roll, please? Trustee Valdez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Ibarra? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. All right, the ayes have that. Going on to business item uh, I. Um, resolution approving an agreement with government GovTemp USA LLC. Rossi? So, uh, as the Board of Mayor likely knows, I've accepted a job with another municipality. Um, that being said, staff researched some options to fill the finance director position. Um, the options that we uh, went over were hiring a full time employee, outsourcing this position to an accounting firm, or utilizing an interim finance director. And after vetting all the options, we found that hiring a uh, temp through GovHR would be our best option. Uh, Dave and I met with the individual that would be placed with the village. He has a very strong uh, government background and a knowledgeable individual. Um, and the uh, plan is to have him work about 30 hours per week at $98 per hour. And uh, in comparison to a if we were to hire a full-time uh, finance director with all of their um, uh, all costs uh, considered, it would be about it would be very similar. Uh, all right. Um, so a resolution approving an agreement with Government Temp USA LLC. Um, can I have a motion, please? So moved by Trustee Cleveland. So moved by Trustee Cleveland. A second. Second by Trustee Abrera. Clerk, can we call the roll? Trustee Cleveland? Aye. Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Abrera? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valdez? Aye. All right, the ayes have that as well. Matt, we... Uh, Definitely hate to see you go. We we understand, but uh, we wish we had you sticking with us. So yeah, appreciate your appreciate your help. Appreciate all the good work you did getting the the follow up uh, uh, awards that we did receive again this year, uh, keeping us in uh, good standards. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Um, at this point, uh, we will go on to public participation. Um, do we have anyone that wants to talk tonight? Thank you. So 
Hello, board. Thank you very much for letting me up here. Uh, I just want to just commend you guys for a fantastic job you're doing. And a very thankless job at a very weird time in our society. Um, it's just nice to come out and see your faces again. And I just want to thank you for all of your commitments to moving forward and constantly evaluating the ordinances to see what makes sense to benefit the public. So thank you for very much for what you do and what you consider. And uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for the record, that was our county rep, Dick Barr, um, and uh, local resident. We we appreciate having you come in. We definitely appreciate the fine fine words. Um, it has been a tough time for us, that's for sure. Um, at this point, um, we do have executive session. We have one, we have one caller. We have one caller, okay. We have one caller. And if you would like to speak, feel free to right now. Paul, are you on the line? I guess they didn't want to speak. Please try one more time. All right. Caller, can you hear us? I can hear you loud and clear. I uh, was just saying I actually have no public comment. Okay. We appreciate you checking in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, no more emails, no more other all right. No other public participation tonight then. Um, we do have executive session, so we will be going into executive session shortly with uh, for probable pending litigation, land acquisition, executive session minutes, or personnel information. Um, can I have a motion to go into executive session, please? So moved by Trustee Cleveland. Moved by Trustee Cleveland. Can I have a second? Second by Trustee, second by Trustee Valadez. All right, can I have the clerk call the roll, please? Trustee Davis? Aye. Trustee Ibarra? Aye. Trustee Stout? Aye. Trustee Valadez? Aye. Trustee Cleveland? Aye. All right, the ayes have that, so we will be going in executive session. Uh, we will be coming back out of executive session to close the meeting. Um, do not have to uh, stay if you don't want to, um, but uh, thank you for all for coming and tuning in tonight. Uh, all right.